What is going on guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Yeah, I guess I wear the same shirt every day. <laughs> what we're doing today on episode number five, right? Is it episode five? Right? It is. Jeez, we are trucking on this car. We are putting new wheels. Uh... What was that? <laughs> <laughs> and new tires onto this car. So what these are, are Enki, Ride Gen, or Ryzen, um, 18 by 9.5 plus 15. Pretty aggressive specs for like not having coils, not rolling fenders, and any of that stuff. Well, at least I don't. I hope you don't have to roll fenders. Huge shout out to Enki for supplying the wheels and huge shout out to my boys over at Continental Tire for supplying the two 35, 40, 18 inch tires. No stretch whatsoever. 235 is a very good size for a nine and a half inch wide wheel because this is not my car. This is my brother's car that we were building for him. I don't want it to be stretched at all. I don't want it to be like unsafe or in any way, shape or form. Let's go ahead and open up these wheels. These are Continental, what are they? Extreme Contact Sports. The sport edition for a sports car, you know, rally car. Check out this tread pattern though. This is like a very nice, it's like a sport. I would explain this as like a sport um, all season in a sense. It's not like a strict summer tire. Summer tire. Summer tire. From the, from the look of it, I honestly don't know the exact compound. They feel nice <laughs> and they smell nice too. Okay. Let's go ahead and open up these wheels. Maybe I'll have Bobby do it cause she's cute and I'm not. And she looks better on camera than me. No, uh -uh, baby cute. Those are really. What freaky. the hell? I want these for my Genesis so bad. You want 18 by 9.5s on your Gen? I just want this style. I've wanted this style. You know that. Full mount? I just want to see what this is. That's the center cap. I just want to look. Ooh. That is nice. That's real nice. Like I said, 18 by 9.5 plus 15 MK R A I J I N. They're not that wide. You think, what if they don't fit the car? Why are they you picking your nose? <laughs> you just picked your nose! <laughs> Maybe you don't see that on the camera. <laughs> babe, for real, what are you doing behind the camera? If they only could see. No, babe, don't. <laughs> no! I'm not kidding. That does not go in. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? Just like I do with every other car build, I'm gonna have a full parts list of every single part and the exact specs down in the description box below. So if you wanna pick up these exact wheels, exact offset, exact color, they'll be linked down below as well as those tires. So. Go down below, buy everything, and build your own 2016 Subaru WRX. Should we get these things mounted? Yeah. What if they scratch them? They won't. Let me sniff them. They smell pretty good. What does it smell? Tastes like new. Ew. Tastes better than you. All right, let's go. Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. How's it gonna look? Sick nasty, dude? Sick nasty. Should we do a test fit? No, babe. No, because if we get tires mounted, they'll fit. I'm gonna send it. Okay. I trust myself. All right, so I'm gonna tell you some Tacoma. We actually went to Cameron's house earlier and got his stock summer wheels. These are his winters and he's not running the tire pressure sensors. So I'm gonna take the tire pressure sensors out of his summer wheels, his current summers, which are stock WX. Throw them in here so he doesn't have that damn TPMS light flashing. Let's head to the tire shop, get them all mounted up, come back home and hope and freaking pray to the Lord above. No, they fit. That they fit. The Lord above. The Lord above that they fit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Should I send it really hard through the snow or should I just back it out? Back it out, please. Ugh, you're no fun. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Light everywhere. <laughs> Check out my carport. So this is usually where my Tacoma, it's usually where it is. And thankfully my truck wasn't in there when this thing decided to get crushed by the snow because I forgot to pull the snow off of it. This is the third one I've owned that has got crushed and I've had one fly away. I'm thankful that my truck wasn't in there because I probably would have dented my roof. Probably. Can you show them the FRS? Or would they get mad? You guys might get really mad at me and I'm kind of disappointed in myself. Oh my gosh. Where'd the STI go? Holy balls. Yeah, I'm not playing around when I say we have a really large amount of snow right now. Look at that STI. She's almost gone and the FRS. <laughs> I should probably take some expensive parts off that car. Oh before my I'm gosh. Sure. Okay, hop in the toast. You don't have all day. Oh, you're, you're jacked. 
And this is why you need a truck. Huh, let's send it to the tire shop. I need to see tires mounted again. In these stock wheels, I want the tire pressure sensor pulled out and put into the new wheels. Okay. You want me to help? Um, no. I don't want you to get dirty. Okay. Hello? Okay. I've never seen somebody move so fast. Woo, sugar. Sugar mama iced tea. Iced tea or iced tea? No, iced tea. Why? Sugar mama iced tea. What I don't know, it's off of a movie. What the hell is sugar mama iced tea? It's kind of warm right here. So you're tanning? It's kinda like we're in like Hawaii. Hawaii. Ooh. What Yummy Coke, 12345678910. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Look at there. Oh, whoa. Whoa. I should put him back there, but I don't want to get him dirty, you know. Yep. Want to carry one or not? No. Two weeks. You. <laughs> I, got you. I got you. Okay. Bye, guys. Yeah. We got the wheels back home. Let's go check out what the car looks like with its current setup, with those wheels that are on there, and then yeah, we can pull the car back in the shop, throw the new wheels on, and see how they look. But <laughs> this is a sick setup. Really good tire size. As you can see, not that much stretch is exactly what I was going for. I'm really glad that I picked this tire size and I hope the wheels fit on the car just fine, which they should. So that is what it looks like with the stock wheels. Let's go ahead and throw the new wheels on. This is like the sickest mod you could ever do to any car. I swear to freaking Lord baby Jesus. <laughs> if you are trying to mod your car and you don't do wheels and tires, He's slacking. Do you get nervous? Yeah. It's fine. Okay, we only got a little bit of battery. Oh, oh no. Should we see, compare the tire size real quick? I was already doing that and you, I got yelled at. Should be a tiny bit smaller, but nothing crazy. Oh, it'll be perfect. Flawless? Flawless. Damn, I'm good at specking my specs. You're the spec god, what can I say? Fitment god. Oh, fitment, sorry. Should you do it? You wanna do it? No, you. You don't wanna scarch them? Nope. I don't know if they're gonna clear these big boy brakes. I'm nervous. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Ooh, that's thick. That's real thick. Almost too thick. No, it's not. Look at Cameron. E -e -e on old wheels. They look good though. So, Devin's worried that... Devin's worried that the wheels and tires... Well, pretty much the tires, right? He, he thinks they're too aggressive. Like, and I feel like he means by them sticking out. Like that. Does it make you crake? Oh yeah. I say it, let's put her on the ground and we'll make our final judgment. All right guys, this is the moment of truth. How many wait, wait, how wait. many quarter panels and fenders are we gonna bend? That's, yeah, that's gnarly. What do you ah. mean? It's not rubbing at all, it's just thick. Gosh damn it. Too aggressive, I should've gone with like a 25. Here, show them what you're talking about. I don't want to. I gotta figure out what to do now. My battery's dead. To a lot of people, this would look like normal. But yeah, to the Fitmate God, it doesn't work. The front, I can camber in. The rear. So by camber in, that means like. Get the fucking wheel to sit straight. But you don't know how to do the rear or what? No, I do, but I can't order parts in and get them fucking overnighted. Oh. <sighs> Alright, guys, here's a scoop. The wheels I ordered are pretty aggressive. I don't know why I went with such an aggressive setup for this car when I knew it was going to be daily driving for him. I didn't want any camber. I didn't want any tire stretch. I didn't want any of that. Unfortunately, they poke out a little bit too much. So basically what I'm doing, having to do, is max out the front camera adjustment with the factory bolts. And then in the rear, I'm just going to roll the fenders and call it a day. The fronts are going to be pretty flush, like straight up and down how they should be. And then the rears are going to poke out a little bit. It is what it is, though. I thought these things were wider, like my Evo 10. I'm running freaking 10 and a half on there, babe. And these are only nine and a half. <laughs> So that's crazy, but it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it now because he gets the car in a few days and I can't order a new set of wheels. So we're going to make this work and it's going to look fine. We got this good. It just annoys me because I did not want to roll those fenders. I know. I guess I'll show you the final look when it's all finished up. Hey, look, I like the wheel. 
good. What if it was that high? That'd be lit. Savage, should we lower it down for the for the vlog? Uh, yes. Yeah, the front's fit good. I like how the front's fit. It's turned a little bit, but mm -hmm. front is a good fit. The rear is so a little bit too pokey for me. Should I just pull the shit out of them, the score panels? Like three inches? No. All right, well, guys, let's roll these fenders real quick. Not real quick, because they have a long process. Especially on a car that I don't want to crack paint on, so. Get her done. Five minutes later. Stop. What are you doing? I was hitting like clunk. You taking a nap? Yeah. If there was some sort of camera adjustment in the rear, I'd be happy. But. It is what it is, and it's not even that bad. It's not that bad, but I just want to be perfect. Yeah, I know. That's how she looks, guys. As you can see, it pokes out a little bit. The wheels look really freaking good. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to test and see if when the camera were to hit like a super big bump, if this wheel is going to hit the quarter panel. If it doesn't hit, then I don't really care. Like, yeah, it pokes out a little bit, but I think the more the rear suspension compresses, the more camera goes on the wheel. So to test that, I'll show you guys what I'm about to do. This is what fitment gods do. Jack her up, grab something like a ramp, put it under the wheel and lower it down slowly. We should be good. If that was fitted like that, boy, that'd be dope. Pinky Could test. Be. Damn, what if it's that low? 20 minutes later. Here is the finished product of the wheels. Well guys, there she is. Drop a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think of the new wheel setup on this 2016 Subaru WRX. Cute. Ooh, she sounds mint. That is gonna be the end of this episode really really hope you enjoyed it make sure you drop a comment in the comment section below let me know what you think of the new wheel and tire setup huge shout out to nk 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 and huge shout out to continental tires both of their websites will be linked down below as well as the full build list for this car hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you tomorrow